Welcome to The Life, an E! News media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen. And I'm Paul Romano. We hope you enjoy this glimpse into the life of Brooklyn Friends School. Tell me about the show. What's it called? Well, we're doing In the Heights um, by Lin-Manuel Miranda. And it's just really fun. It's about three days in Washington Heights. Theater has always been a big part of my life. So I was very happy when Lorna Jordan, theater teacher and director, invited me into a rehearsal and to speak with the cast and crew of the Middle School Upper School Fall Musical. I've done the musical every year since seventh grade. And how is this different? I guess like there's more cultural inclusivity, regard, especially regarding like um, people of the Latinx community, which I think is really good. We've never really done that before. So I play Kevin uh, Rosario, and I'm an immigrant from uh, the DR, and I guess I'm a bit old-fashioned. I own a taxi company, and I'm just trying to enable my daughter to have the best life she possibly can. And how do you find motivation for that role? He's um, an immigrant, and he was a farmer, and um, I, I guess like my family has that same experience where um, my family's originally from Corozal and they were farmers and they farmed like um, plantains and yucca pretty much. So I can draw inspiration on that and the fact that they immigrated to New York. I play Sonny, mm -hmm. which is the cousin of the main character in the show. And what's Sonny like? He's really passionate and he really wants to change things, and he works in a bodega. How do you relate to Sonny? Do you relate to him? Yeah, I relate to Sonny because he really wants to make a difference in his community. And I feel like I want to make a difference. Uh, I play the lead role, owner of a small business, a bodega in Washington Heights. It's basically like him going through like a few days and him finally reaching his goal of leaving the barrio to have a better life. I share that kind of drive for like betterment of yourself. Like growing up in Queens and coming here to like the like upper class um, parts of Brooklyn, like you kind of, I kind of like use that as a drive to like come here and work towards excellence. Each year we focus on something a little bit different and especially these past like two years, I think we've been focusing on communities that are not usually represented in um, media or in popular um, culture. So I really like, especially like with Lacage and now in the Heights, we get to see like a new side of life, <laughs> like a different view of it. All right. And what about your part? What part do you play? I play Camila. She's very, I feel like she's very strong-willed, but she's often like pushed aside and she does a lot for her family and she's often overlooked for it. Um, and she always has to go along with like her husband's like what he wants to do and it like she has to kind of like find her voice Do you um, relate to the character? I, I consider myself very strong-willed But there are times that I have been like pushed aside and like silenced and it, it's weird because I feel like Especially these last two years in high school I've been trying to like find my voice and like find a way to tell people who I am so I think I get inspiration from my, my own experience and just trying to make myself known. It's, I play Benny. Do you relate to your character? Is it hard well, to relate? Or? Well, yeah, yeah, I can relate to him. I just When we get to the lottery ticket side of the story, he's pretty much talking about how if he won the lottery, what he would do with the money, which was he wouldn't do what most people would do. He wouldn't go on vacation, he wouldn't spend all the money. He said he would like go into business school, own his own car service and, you know, invest his money. Like, you got the girl, but you can't keep her until you figure this out, and it's really like... In order to help students better understand the motivations of their characters, Lorna sent an email to faculty and staff looking to gain as many perspectives as possible from community members who have immigrated to New York City. Her goal was to help cast members to make truthful, appropriate choices and to deepen their understanding of the power of art to provide an entry point for learning and empathy. My parents and my whole family and myself, we immigrated from the Dominican Republic and we have lived in the Heights ever since. 
Because Lorna, like, low-key shaped my life, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm, here. I start. <laughs> I'm here with Jazz and Jack. I've been wanting to inter- interview them for a long time. <laughs> you are my heroes. Can you tell us what you, <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what you do on the show? Yeah, so we are stage managers for the production. That means from day to day we take rehearsal reports. So like attendance, we list down what happens, we sort of know where everyone is and what's happening. We block the show. We do block the show. Block the entire show. That so making sure we where everyone is and what they're doing and true. why they're doing it. And Very true. Many things. <laughs> Um, we are in charge of also calling the show and running the show technically during the show, so we do all the lights and the fun stuff. <laughs> we have a bunch of little crew people who come and help us towards the end, so our responsibility is making sure that they know what they're doing mm-hmm. and working with our technical director. We've had a lot of technical directors over the past five years, and Larson's really good at his job. Larson really cares a lot. Yeah. And he, he was a set little designer, models. a little yeah. model, so we sort of just know like, what we're going into yeah, from the Yeah, just like start. a professional mm-hmm. theater. Very so cool. fun. Uh, how is it working with the actors? <laughs> we love it. It's exciting. Yeah. There's a lot of different things to do every day, mm-hmm. and during the show, we're definitely we're constantly following people around, and making sure things are happening. It's and a lot of damage control. Yeah, very, much, very much. You find that there's a lot of ego there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I oh my gosh! I wish I wish that there was an actor that I'd met in at BFS who is just so full of themselves that I could just like, well... Are you on book for actors sometimes? We, we are on book. For the, from the very start of the play, it's sort of them, they follow along with their scripts, but after mm-hmm. they learn lines, there's sort of this chunk of time where they might not have memorized their lines and they... You know, they should have. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, and so we stay we on book. We are staying on book, but as the show, as it progresses into the final week, mm-hmm. we're sort of we've shifted our responsibilities mm-hmm. to more focusing on the technical aspects of yeah. the show so we we come in from a very early point and we begin by focusing on the actors and then we sort of shift mm-hmm. towards the end yeah. tell the truth do you know everybody's lines and can you do every part yes yes, yes. jack and yes. i can we single-handedly can do the entire show <laughs> all by ourselves can you tell me what it's like um in the booth on the night of a show <laughs> it's very exciting. It's um, it's very exciting. It's like yes. the it's just like pure energy in the booth. I would consider more of the energy to be backstage. Um, for this show, I'm going to be backstage, mm-hmm. so that's mm-hmm. it's a lot of fires that are getting put, put out, out constantly. Yeah. It's a lot of energy, mm-hmm. especially opening night. They're loud. They're very loud. They're Closing all very night. exciting. Closing night is very Middle sad. Show. They're all. They all have so like so much to say, and we have so much to expect from like from each show. We mm-hmm. sort of know how things run. Where our first show is 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 sort of the getting everything mm-hmm. together, and then the second mm-hmm. show is sort of where everything. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say it falls apart, but the second mm-hmm. show is where we sort of <laughs> yeah. have done such a great job in the first yeah. show. That we yeah, have to try to keep it up. Do either of you or both of you have an incident that you want to describe that took place? Like, <laughs> what was the worst or the best thing that happened into the in the booth? Um, or? I have behind, the potential worst thing that I almost did. I almost erased all of the lights for Into the Woods right as everybody had just sat down in their seats. Like, completely all the light cues gone because I was just trying to turn on a lamp and the lamp wasn't working, you know? And so, because I'm an experienced technical director, I thought, why not unplug it and plug it back in? <laughs> and so I unplugged the, the power strip from the wall and the computer was plugged into the power strip and the computer is not the system that just saves automatically and so it took about 20 minutes to turn back on and the whole time it said incorrect shutdown may not have been saved stuff like that so we were Sophia Lipkin and I were just panicking about whether we had lights or not we were thinking we were gonna just have to like wing it the entire time just like manually do it Luckily, I did not do that. That would have been horrible, but... But it worked out? It, it was it saved? It worked out. It was all saved. We were all good, but that would have that would have definitely scarred yes. me for life. Wow. <laughs> I think that the craziest parts are when you're in the booth and you're watching the actors do their things, and <laughs> maybe it's not exactly yeah. how it's been blocked, and we're just sort of Oh, yeah, and you're just sitting in the booth or, like, or, yeah. like motioning wildly, because they can <laughs> see you in the booth. Thank you so much for all your thoughts. <laughs> I have a question. Do I say, uh, can I say break a leg to you? <laughs> we, can we say that to you? I, I, I did so. until one of our actors almost did break a leg. She <laughs> sprained it, and now I'm really just scared. <laughs> right, well, anyway, break a leg. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. 
I had so much fun talking about theater with the cast and crew of In the Heights. Thank you, students. Let's remember, none of this would have been possible without the extraordinary efforts of musical director Lisa Burns, technical director Larson Rose, choreographer Jamara Hill, Spanish language coach Maria Sanchez, and of course, our director, Lorna Jordan. Let your play speak.